Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay, and in today's video, we are talking about how to make money as a stay-at-home mom. Today, I'm gonna to introduce three different ways that you can earn an income from home. Um, anybody can use these three different ways. You don't have to be a stay-at-home mom to get anything from this video. So if you're looking to make money from home, you're not a stay-at-home mom, you're welcome to stay. This is for you as well. My heart just goes out to moms because I know a lot of time, I know when I was raising my children, I was always looking for a way to make extra money. And a lot of times my ways of making extra money were having yard sales or babysitting and things like that. And while yes, I was bringing in another income, I was still able to raise my children and stayed home the way I want it, it was still hard because I still had to put a lot of time in for that other job at a specific time. When you get a job online, one of the best things about it is it's your you can schedule it when you want to do it most jobs are like that and that's the beauty you get to keep your flexibility you still get to um, give those kids the quality time and, and your spouse and your home the time that it needs and then you can work your job and squeeze it in between those cracks per se so we're going to talk about three different ways to make money today i want to point out that i do have a playlist in my channel and it's called online jobs make money from home and on each video even though all the titles might be different because i'm just trying to get out there and make sure people see it um, i have three different jobs on each one hopefully i don't duplicate too many times <clears throat> but if i do i apologize it might be because i found out more information and i thought i would introduce it again but i'm trying to put three different jobs on each one so that you can go through that list and just do some exploring and find out what job would be best for you and there's so many out there and i'm sure i'm not even hitting them all so before you make a decision just explore and one of the things you might want to do and this is going to be in the first job that I, I show you one of the things that you might want to think about is what is it that I have to offer what am I good at and you'll be surprised at how you can take the skills that you have and offer them online it's amazing and one of the ways of doing that is going to a site called freelancer.com so you can freelance your skills and you can go to a site like this again there's lots of them out there um actually this one's called upwork i apologize i have both of them i'm going to show you but on upwork.com you can go in and you can post yourself for hire and some of the things that you might do is you may be good at writing you may be good at um maybe you're really good with technical things like web developer or um, it designs and things like that uh, customer service admin support but do you see all these different skills that you can offer you may be good with designing things um there's a lot if you've noticed online there's a lot of influencers affiliate marketers uh, people selling digital products that have popped up online and they've made huge businesses anybody that starts growing in, in any of these online businesses they need help and one of the things that people train them to do is to outsource their work by going to upwork.com or freelancer.com these are only two of them um, i didn't want to bombard you with a ton but in those programs you can go in and say hey can you design a logo for me can you design my youtube channel cover just little simple things like that that you might go well that's a piece of cake i could do those all day long when you're really busy and trying to grow your business those are little things that you can hire somebody to do take it off your plate and spend your time someplace else so all these people that you see online need help they need help with outsourcing i know i in my channel sometimes people will even email me and say hey i can help you with this this or that like make your thumbnails or do this or do that so there's people out there that need help and there's people out there that can give that help so look for you know just go into the the um, site upwork.com and pretend you're looking for help and see what kinds of things are being offered and you might go wow that's something i can do I, and offer that to somebody else that service to somebody else so definitely look at becoming a freelancer now here's the other one it's called freelancer.com the one i mentioned at first let's wait for that to pop up but again if you go in um you can post people will go in and say i want to post the project that i'm looking for so i might be looking for somebody let's go ahead and post and see what happens so I might say, hey, I'm looking to hire someone. Um, 
a lot of people, another thing that they do, the, these bigger uh, people with the bigger businesses, they might want to create an ebook to give away for free. Um, in the affiliate marketing industry, um, a lot of people are collecting email addresses and they need to give something away for free to get it. Um, so they might go in here and look for somebody to write that ebook. They might say, I want this ebook to have some of my favorite recipes on it for losing weight. And maybe they have all that information, but they don't know how to put it together as an ebook. Or maybe they know how, but they just don't want to take the time. So you could be a ghostwriter for them. And basically what that means is you will put that ebook together, but it will have their name on the front as though they wrote it. If you even go in and look for ghostwriters, you can even find people that might want to write a novel, but a ghostwriter writes it for them. So yeah, it gets pretty um, deep <laughs> in there and lots of different things that you can do. But here, see, someone says, I want somebody to build me a website. I can put all the descriptions and then I can upload it. I'm not going to put all that in to take up your time, but that's just an example. So go in to upwork.com and freelancer.com and see if there's something that you can do for other people. You will end up charging a lower fee at first to get your feet wet. Sometimes these sites, when you go in there to post yourself as an employee, um, they want some kind of a portfolio. They want you to prove that you can write. Um, I would say they're not real stringent on that because I've hired people before and some of them were fantastic and I have a list of who I would hire again and others I'm like, nah. You know, you don't really know what you're doing. So, so price doesn't usually um, match the quality, if that makes sense. So you just want to make a good name for yourself. Start out with lower fees so people recognize you. And then as you start getting great testimonials and feedback, that's what starts um, helping you become more visible and you can increase your fees because you're good at what you do. So it, it kind of works like that. But go in there, look around. Now here's another one. You may, you know, especially if you're a mom and you already have, you have children and you're always taking pictures, did you know that you can actually sell your photographs? There's a program called Unsplash. There's a ton. Um, look for stock photos, stock free photos. Okay. And you can put your photography on these sites and people can come in. For instance, Unsplash, I believe this is one I use a lot, but some of them limit you. So let's say I need a photo for, um, something that I'm making, maybe an ebook or an article, or maybe I want to put the photo on my YouTube channel, something like that, or a Facebook post even. I just want a nice photo and then I want to put a quote on it. I want to make it myself. A lot of these things can be made in Canva, which I'm going to show you, but how do you make money? You go in to Unsplash as an example, one of thousands of different places, and you get permission or set it up so that you can post your photos. Again, you have to go through their process and people come in and what Unsplash does is they allow people to get their first 10 photos maybe for free. And then after that, you have to start paying for the photos and it depends on what photo gets chosen. So if one of your photos gets chosen and somebody pays for it, you get money off of that. And then of course, Unsplash makes a commission from it. Also, what I have seen that has happened, if I download a photo, the, there's a little uh, mark there that says, hey, can you give this person credit? So it gets that person's name out there and gets gives them exposure as well. So that's a way that you can start your photography business online. Now, remember, that might take more time. I'm not sure. I don't sell photos, so I'm, I'm not sure on how quickly you could start earning money, but it is a way that you can do it. This one here is called iStockphoto.com. Um, again, tons of different places you can go. I actually have a list of like 20 of these. If you want to email me, I'll send it to you and give you a bunch so that you can get started on doing a search. But again, people go in, I might say, I want to find a photo with, um, beach scenes. Okay. So you go on vacation with your family, just take some other pictures. Um, you could use your children or not. Um, some people, there's kids on here, there's adults on here, but beach scenes, you could just take landscaping pictures and, and it's something you're already doing anyway. So play around. Maybe this is your niche. Maybe this is something that you can do to make money. There you go. You've got a little girl there. Eating. Who, who wouldn't want that picture? So, um, again, 
these are lots of different photos. Look, they've got children in there. You know, maybe these moms were on vacation just taking pictures of the kids and they, they like to play around with photography. So it's another way that you could make money online and still kind of incorporate it into your daily life. Now, I talked about a program called Canva. A lot of um, times when I go to create a photo with a quote on it, maybe that I wanna post on Facebook or Instagram or someplace, I typically will go to Canva or another program that I used is called GetStencil.com. And I'm showing this to you because in there, let's say I wanna um, create a YouTube thumbnail, okay? I'm gonna click that. And when I get in there, there are free photos, but there's also photos that you have to pay for or templates that you have to pay for. So I would assume that Canva gets their photos from somewhere. So I would do a little bit of investigating and, and find out it d does, do they buy photos from different photographers or do they, they might go into unsplash and different sites like that and just buy their photos from there. But my point is some of these are free some of them cost money and somehow somebody's got to be getting paid for these photos not people aren't just doing their free work so there's templates i think that's what i'm on now um, yeah templates now and again if you click some see how it says free in the corner well sometimes i'll start going through and i'll say wait a minute you got to pay for this one so there's a reason so maybe they're buying their photos from one of those photo places and it, and there has to be money paid to the person that made it. All right, so our third way of making money. Now, this is one that a lot of people might not have thought of, but medical transcriber. A medical transcriber can make actually an average of $35,000 a year. And what does that mean? Doctors sometimes like to transcribe the report, um, especially your older old school doctors, they will talk into a little microphone and then they want someone to just transcribe it into a report. Now there are programs out there that do text to speech, speech to text, sorry about that, where it automatically transcribes, but from what I'm hearing, I know in the education industry, um, we have reports and things that we want that to happen and it doesn't happen really well. Like for instance, I teach school online and if I have a hearing impaired child come into my class, I actually have to have another adult in there and they will actually transcribe what I'm saying onto the screen into a little box for that student so that they can read it. Um, there, Many of your text, your um, voice to text programs don't pick it up as accurately yet if they're out there, I don't know of them, but I know we haven't found one. Um, so they still need transcribers. They still need people to listen and type and then put the give the a report back to the hospital. It could be a physician. You could go into the law industry. There's transcribers there. If you notice in the courthouse when a person is um, in, in, in that courtroom there's somebody sitting there transcribing everything they're just typing really fast like shorthand and then they have to take that and then go and type it again so how does how can you do this from home well if you're doing it for a physician a dentist from a hospital or something like that they're going to do their work at the building and then send you the audio tape or whatever i'm sure it's online now but they're going to send that audio to you for you to transcribe and type it up and send it back so it can be done from home you do probably have to go through a program to learn if you're going to go into the law part or the medical field but it's a job i mean if it's something you enjoy doing maybe you have the extra time to get trained it is something you could do. And like I said, the medium income is about $35,000 a year. So that's not bad. Now, many people ask, well, okay, these are great, but I would like to make a, a passive income. And you can do that through affiliate marketing, which if you go to a site like this, it's called clickbank.com, you can actually go in and promote other people's products for them. These are featured products, people who developed products, put their products on this site called ClickBank, it's one of many, and then they say, hey, if you'll sell my vitamins for me, I will give you a commission to do it. So I might go in and say, okay, I'm gonna sell these vitamins, or shake, this is a shake, and 
promote it to people um, for fitness and let's say they sell for $50, I might make 50 cents, a 50% commission and make $25. Commissions go anywhere from 7% to 50% in general. I'm going to say most of the time when they're 50, 30 to 50% is when you're selling a digital course for someone. But I just wanted to briefly go over this to show you that there is a way to set up a business that turns into a passive income because you do the work up front, you set certain things in place, and then the product and the, um, the internet part just keeps on happening without you touching anything except giving good customer service in the end. And so, you know, 80% of the work is done and then you do 20% of the work to continue to make the money. Now, how do you set these things up? How do you even get yourself known online? Look below, I've got a 30 day in-depth training and you can just click that button and that training is available. And every day, three coaches come in, they give you training and tell you how to set yourself up online to sell your services of whatever it is. If you're a freelancer, yes, you're gonna to go to freelance.com, you're gonna to go to Upwork, but you still have to, if you really want to make good money, you still want to have a a place that looks like a home page that that makes you look prof more professional. If you're in business, you want to have like a storefront. You want people to be able to find you and see what you're selling, or and even if you're selling yourself or or one of your services. And this program is going to teach you how to do that. So it's basically teaching you how to set up your storefront and how to get your name out there, that's, so people can find you and you can create more traffic to your business. So hopefully that was helpful. Don't forget to go into the playlist. If all three of these were things that you're like, I don't want to do any of that. Like I said, every video in the playlist should be giving you three other ways that you can make money. So go through those videos, look for a great way, um, something that matches your skills, something that you would have a passion for so you can make money from home.